Please tune to channel 15 for further details. Happens next. Hello. Just plain. The Looks like they're going to do it again. Rodney Wright. Great job to get the first down, Tom. Thunderstorm wash number 689, effective until 11 p.m. or midnight Sunday. This wash includes the following counties in Illinois, Edwards, Wabash and White, and the following counties in Indiana, Dubois, Gibson, Perry, Pike, Posey, Spencer, Vanderburg and Wark, and the following counties in Kentucky, Henderson, and Union. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, and, and close to the wash area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Repeating, severe thunderstorm wash number 689 has been issued from 4.30 p.m. or 5.30 p.m. until 11 p.m. or midnight Sunday for the following counties in Illinois, Edwards, Wabash and White, and the following counties in Indiana, Dubois, Gibson, Perry, Pike, Posey, Spencer, Vanderburg and Wark, and the following counties in Kentucky, Henderson, and Union. National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm wash number 689, effective until 11 p.m. or midnight Sunday. This wash includes the following counties in Illinois, Edwards, University, Tuna, London, Broad. Does not necessarily reflect the views or beliefs of News 25, its management, or ownership. The following is a paid advertisement for Gabriel Communications. Are you a fan of real country music? You know what kind I'm talking about. Music that still sounds like country music. I'm rolling my sweet baby's arm. I'm rolling my sweet baby's arm. I'll lay around the shack till the bell train is back and rolling. Well, if you're a real country music fan, then you're going to love this next half hour. Hi, I'm Larry Black, the producer of the brand new 10 volume video series, Country's Family Reunion Nashville. Over the next 30 minutes, I'm going to give you a. Well, he accepted the apology because he knows it was sincere. Coming from Northern California of late, that water now is limited because of decisions to try to protect endangered species in the Delta. So there's a greater need to develop local water and to reduce our dependence on these imported water supplies. In a matter of speaking, steps toward a more self-reliant water supply can be found nourishing Californians' own back and front yards. In terms of the water that is used once, and sent off approximately 500 million gallons a day that just goes back out into the ocean after one use of it. And more thirsty lawns and people are coming. Faced with providing water for a projected 200 to 500,000 more residents by the year 2030, LA Mayor Antonio Villarregosa and the Department of Water and Power have gone on the offensive, presenting a billion dollar water conservation battle plan to meet the city's growing needs. And a key weapon in the water-saving arsenal is an interesting and somewhat controversial proposal to recycle wastewater. As one can imagine, the toilet-to-tap notion raised eyebrows and a few red flags with Los Angeles residents. Really it, gross. Yeah. Not healthy at all. Yeah. Um, sewage is not friendly. There's definite reports of estrogen and antidepressants within the water that they can't filter out. You find that in your drinking supply and you don't 
find it for quite some time, you find out that you've actually fed a whole populace of people, something that actually changes them. My guess is that there, there, there are some really tough questions that are going to be asked, like, why are we doing this? A little less than a decade ago, Orange County had the same tough questions and concerns. In the late 90s, the Water Department first informed residents of the plan to build the $481 million groundwater replenishment system, a plan that would pipe up to 70 million drinkable gallons of treated sewage water into 500,000 residences. This included the home of a semi-retired doctor and active environmentalist who still enjoys riding the Orange County waves he first surfed back in the 1930s. My real heart is in surfing and the quality of water that I surf in. But when they started telling me early on about the Cheeto Your Eyes project, suddenly it became very related to me and my family because we were going to be drinking that water. The doctor's background in internal medicine also had him deeply worried about viruses surviving the proposed water treatments. I think that being a troublemaker, they uh, figure that it's e easier to have me on the committee making suggestions rather than uh, taking pot shots from the outside. After reading over early test results of the plant's final product, the self-proclaimed troublemaker was impressed. When they show me the, the scientific data and the removal rates, that made a believer out of me. What won Dr. Skinner over was the facility's state-of-the-art three-step process to water treatment. The first process is a filtration process. So what we do is we lower microfiltration.